Today is the 9th of November, a date that will always be symbolic in Europe's history. 84 years ago, Europe lived through one of its darkest moments. But on the same day, 51 years later, in 1989, we experienced one of the brightest moments in our recent history. This week, I visited Auschwitz-Birkenau, a quiet part of the world which provided the setting for the worst crimes that man has ever seen. 84 years have passed since Kristallnacht, but despite decades of effort, we have not yet done enough to end the scapegoating, to end the discrimination. We have not yet done enough to make every citizen in Europe unafraid to be themselves. And today, let me reiterate our commitment to fight hate, to teach tolerance and respect, to combat anti-Semitism, and to always remember. The hallmark of our European Union has been the bravery, the political courage of women and men, who put division aside and fought for unity, for freedom. That is what we saw 33 years ago with the fall of the wall in Berlin. It meant hope. It meant liberty. It gave a chance to 150 million people to live in democracy. And fundamentally, it contributed to reconciliation and unity in Europe. Dear colleagues, we must never go back to a divided continent. Our Europe is one where we live together, united, a Europe of peace, a Europe of hope, and a Europe where we pull down walls.